Hi Cancer and welcome to your weekly reading for September 7th through to the 13th. So in this reading, Cancer, this is a general reading so the messages will not resonate for all of you. Be sure to take what fits, leave what doesn't, and check out your moon and rising sign readings as well. I'm going to be looking at some recent past, some current, as well as near future energy and pulling an overall energy for the week card. I'll be pulling clarifiers. And I'm going to wrap up the reading with an Archangel Power Tarot card. So Cancer, let's see what is in store for you. Okay. Okay, Cancer. Okay, so your overall energy for this week is the Strength card. So this is really about you. Um, this is about you having self-respect, courage, clear focus on what it is that you want to achieve and having that inner strength to go after what it is that you want or achieve the goals that you're setting for yourself, Cancer. Um, in your recent past energy, you have the Hermit, the Tower, and the Five of Wands. And it looks like, in with this particular Five of Wands, Five of Wands can mean a few things. It can be rivalry, it can be challenges, obstacles, um, but it's, it, has a, it can also be a sport. It can be challenges and rivalry related to sportsmanship. And in this case, with this particular deck, this is more about that, that these, these um, novice magicians here, they are learning to create fire and, and build a fire. And they have to work together as a team to create that fire but they're also in competition with each other at the same time. So I'm, I'm really feeling like, I'm, I'm feeling like in your recent past energy cancer that you might have had to work together with individuals in your life that normally you'd be in opposition with or you'd be a in, in a, some kind of a challenge with. Um, so it could be in your personal life, but this could even be in the workforce. And I'll just give you an example. This could be colleagues. Colleagues, though, that that are kind of your competition. Um, they can be friends, but they can also be people that if should a promotion open up, that they'd be going after two. And they would be your competition for that position. So that's what I mean. But I feel like you may have been put into a situation where you've had to work and collaborate with these people for a higher goal or for, for some higher purpose here. And it's it's really made you go within for some inner clarity here. And I really feel like it has, um, with this hermit energy, that that you've, it's made you take a little bit of a step back and, and look at this and how you're working with, with people that you normally see as, as, you know, your rivals. And I feel like the clarity is mental clarity on your belief systems and it's kind of turned your world upside down a little bit. Your thoughts, your beliefs about these people upside down where you're just seeing them in a whole new light and you have a whole new respect for these individuals. And I feel like that's how that plays out for, for many of you, Cancer. Now, in your current week, you have the Five of Cups, the Alchemist, which is also the Magician, and the Two of Wands. So... It feels like it feels like you've had some kind of a letdown, and this could be related to this too. And perhaps, perhaps some of you could have been working with other individuals um, on a common goal, and um, but from that, someone like this is just an example. I'm just using work as the example. Someone um, in that group got some kind of a promotion or more recognition above others, 
And so this is where you're kind of feeling this emotional loss here. But not all is lost. And that's one thing that you have to hold on to, Cancer, that there's still two upright cups full of emotional happiness and support. If, if something like that was the case where one person on a team or on a group effort that you were doing got more recognition than the others or than you, um, don't think that your actions haven't go, gone unnoticed because they have been noticed, they have been recognized. You are being seen as someone who can really take the um, take what it is that you want to achieve and make it real. You are that person that can take the thought or the idea and turn it into something practical and real. And people do realize this about you. And it's going to open up choices for you. That ability, that talent you have with this two of wands, um, this is really going to, you're going to have to make some kind of a choice because it's going to open up potentials for you. And um, so, so yeah, you, you are going to have a choice to make. I think, I think you are going to be given options and it's going to be something that you're excited about and it's going to allow you to use your creative talents here, Cancer. In your near future here, you have the Knight of Wands. You have judgment and you have the two of cups so this is really about you deepening partnerships can be in the in terms of a relationship a new relationship or a current one and it's deepening could be moving on to that next stage um, but i also feel like i do feel like this is really about working with other people and working in groups so it's relationships but it's in the area of not it's not romantic relationships it's more partnerships and how you collaborate with others, how you compromise with others and how you work with others. And that's really um, what this reading is, I feel like, for many of you here. And that's that Two of Cups. It's, it's a new respect and a deepening of your connections and networks with other individuals. And you've received some kind of a clarity with that and, and with judgment here. And, and again, I, I feel like there's this opportunity here for to do, tap into your creative energy and here you are going forward with it with the Knight of Wands. I feel like this is you, not someone else. And this is you um, taking advantage of a creative opportunity. You're, you're that knight going forward on that mission, on that quest. So with strength, okay. Huh. So you have the Dark Lord, which is also the devil here. And you have the Queen of Cups. So in how you are, that inner strength that you need, that you need to tap into, it is about you, um, you being very nurturing and supportive and taking on that kind of a role in how you deepen your relationships and work with others. Um, the, leaving your ego behind with this dark lord here and trying to overcome your ego and need for attention and to be the center here. This can also be about, um, for some of you with this dark lord too, this, this can also be about... Um, for those of you that, that, that have, are, are lacking in a little bit of confidence, this can be about you shedding that and, and um, facing your shadow side, replacing it with confidence. Because that is one thing that the Dark Lord does have. He's got a very strong and solid, stable ego. He's very confident in his abilities. So sometimes the, the Dark Lord here can indicate that there is a need for you to you know, show yourself in that way. Show your confidence. Show your self-assuredness. And one thing that you are realizing here is that when you do need help, um, that you do need to, to ask for it with this Five of Pentacles and help will be there. Um, and, and sometimes, you know, that's something that will help you to achieve success. It's not that you can't achieve success on your own and achieve your goals on your own, but there are times when even just advice from someone else is beneficial. And sometimes it's good to kind of get another perspective from another individual. With this tower energy, it's bringing in more balance into your life and it's really allowing you um, this change in this, in this belief systems or how you see things. It's really creating harmony and balance in your life. That, that's why this is being shaken to the ground is to bring in that harmony and balance and also allow you to trust your intuition and trust yourself that little bit more their cancer. 
another tower here. So this five of wands is competition. Again, I feel like this is the root of the changes that are going on in your life. Uh, but you do have the king of wands here. And this is about you, like in any group work that you're doing, anything that any challenges, rivals that are, are around you, um, I, I feel like that's what's leading to the changes that are going on in, in how you, your perspective and how you see things. But you're also very assured and you, you, you have a, um, you have a charisma and that's what you're bringing to the table here with this King of Wands. He's very charismatic, very charming. He sets really ambitious high goals for himself and he goes after them in a very bold and powerful way. So I really feel like you, you, you have this leadership role in this group of individuals and it's because you are naturally charismatic and people are drawn to you and people listen to you, Cancer. So you have the moon here and the ace of wands clarifying the five of cups. So yeah, the, 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 the things that still exist, these opportunities that are still here, the things that you still have to look forward to, they're things that you'll be very passionate and excited about. It will really allow you to tap into your creativity again. And it's going to let you use your intuition. You need to really trust yourself, Cancer, in this process. And even if, it, even if things don't seem like they're going to work out for you, whatever this opportunity is, whatever this creative goal is, if it might not seem like it's going to work out, trust yourself, trust your intuition, and just know that you have all the tools, all the skills, abilities that you need to achieve what it is that you want to achieve. And with this Six of Pentacles, I feel like whatever it is that you're doing, um, whatever you're taking on here, it's not only going to benefit you, it's benefiting the group, it's be benefiting the whole, it's benefiting other people, maybe even society at large with the Six of Pentacles. This is the card of reciprocity here and the giving and receiving. But you are working really hard, but you're also being very patient because you know it's going to take time for, for your activities, for the results of them to come to fruition. And with this Two of Wands, these choices, like... Whatever, you, whatever action you decide to go in, you're willing to put in the work and the effort here with this Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this is you as the Knight moving forward in a very stable, reliable kind of way. You're patient and hardworking. You're going to see whatever this is that you're taking on, Cancer. You're going to see it through to the end. And it's... and you have this a circle of support around you. You have friends and family that are celebrating this with you, whatever this opportunity is, whether or not it's in relationships. And again, this could just be um, your networks and how you connect with other people, or if it's in your actual career. Um, this is something that is very positive and, you, and you're celebrating your, these as wins with your friends and family. So it's really beautiful to see. And as you're following what you're passionate about, um, your creativity and tapping into your creative skills and talents here, you're also being very resourceful, uh, Cancer. And you, are, you have that kind of like fertile or Midas touch where you, you can put in the patience, the hard work, you're reliable, you're stable, you're grounded, and you're able to nurture that skill and talent that you have to turn it into something beautiful that can create abundance in your life. And this is really about you being able to make your wishes come true and being emotionally fulfilled as well as um, experiencing material abundance as well and good health. So very positive here for you. I feel like there's a little bit of an internal struggle going on for you, though, a little bit of an internal tug of war, Cancer. Um, with whatever, the, you will be making some kind of a final decision and have clarity on, on some kind of a situation or choice that you have to make. But I do feel like there is a little bit of an internal struggle with that in making that decision. Because in order, when you make whatever decision it is, you're going to have to let go of something. Something in your life is going to complete and wrap up. And you might feel like you're not ready to let that go yet, um, but it is time because it is the world. And this represents you completing a goal or a life lesson or some kind of chapter in your life, but it's a successful completion. And when something it comes to an end and it's successful, it's time for that next 
chapter to begin and that's where you are that's where you're headed cancer and with this two of cups you have the knight of cups and the two of pentacles so the two of pentacles you have you you have options here um you do have options and and i again i feel like your connections with others are bringing in options for you giving you choices here and you have the Knight of Cups, so I feel like, I'm not feeling like this is actually your energy, even though you are a water sign Cancer, I feel like this is someone else offering you something, and that's coming in. This can be represent a prince or princess charming, bringing in some kind of a romantic proposal, but this can just also be someone coming in with an offer that will give you that emotional fulfillment if this is in your work, in your work area, or even relationships that aren't romantic that they're giving you this opportunity to tap into your creative energies and it's going to be something that is really going to be emotionally satis satisfying for you. So it's a really positive, positive feeling for you, Cancer. So I'm just going to pull an Archangel Power Tarot card and wrap up the reading. And you have the Ace of Raphael. Beautiful, beautiful Cancer. So the Ace of Raphael represents a new opportunity or a new emotional positive experience coming in for you. So it can be a fulfilling romantic relationship or it can also just be about um, just a relationship that is um, a relationship with another person. So like some kind of um, uh, da -da, like a work or business relationship, but it's something that's going to be very emotionally positive for you the opportunity or whatever it is this experience is that's coming in for you this is the same energy as the ace of cups which sometimes can also be about a new baby a new relationship a proposal or a marriage but again it can also just be something um, that that you know really makes you feel good some kind of an opportunity a new path a new beginning a door that opens to something that can really be emotionally makes you emotionally happy and, and feel really, um, really fulfilled emotionally and on an emotional level. So Cancer, this concludes your reading. Again, if you enjoyed the reading, be sure to give it a thumbs up and a like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell. I will see you next time.